السلام علیکم آج ہم آپ کے لیے لکھے ایک اور بہترین پیشکش بائی ریشنل بلیور بہت بہترین ویڈیو ہونے والا ہے ہو از اللہ دا کنگڈم آف اللہ بہت بہترین ویڈیو ہوگا یہ بہت ہی زیادہ انفارمیٹیو ویڈیو ہوگا دین کو تازہ کرنے والا ویڈیو ہوگا اسٹارٹ ٹو اینڈ تک پورا دیکھیے گا اور اس کو سمجھیے گا تو بنا ٹائم ویسٹ کے لیٹ اسٹارٹ اپ ویڈیو ہو از اللہ وی وانٹ ٹو ریفریش اور ایمان We want to be attached to our Creator. We want to fear nobody but Him. We want to please none other than Him. So who is Allah? Come with me to Surah Al-Hadid, chapter 57 of the Quran, where Allah, He says, introducing Himself to us. Lahu mulku samawati wal ard. He is Allah who has the kingdom of the heavens and the earth. Yuhyi wa yumeet, He alone is the one who gives life and death. وَهُوَ عَلَىٰ كُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدِيرٍ He is able to do whatever he wishes. يُسَبِّحُ لَهُ مَا فِي السَّمَوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ وَهُوَ الْعَزِيزُ الْحَكِيمُ Everything in the heavens and the earth glorify Allah and He is the most mighty, the most wise. Ya Allah, هَلْ تَعْلَمُ لَهُ سَمِيَّةِ Do you know anybody who shares even one of these characteristics with Allah? Who is Allah? Come with me to chapter 6 of the Quran, Surah Al-An'am. Allah says, وَعِنْدَهُ مَفَاتِحُ الْغَيْبِ وَعِنْدَهُ مَفَاتِحُ الْغَيْبِ لَا يَعْلَمُهَا إِلَّا هُو He has the keys to the unseen, no one knows them except him. وَيَعْلَمُ مَا فِي الْبَرِّ وَالْبَحْرِ And he knows everything that is on land and everything that is within the sea. وَمَا تَسْقُطُ مِنْ وَرَقَةٍ إِلَّا يَعْلَمُهَا And there isn't a single leaf that falls from any tree except that Allah has knowledge of it. وَلَا حَبَّةٍ فِي ظُلُمَاتِ الْأَرْضِ And there isn't even a grain within the darknesses of the land. وَلَا رَطُبٍ وَلَا يَابِسٍ Nor is there anything moist or anything that is solid. إِلَّا فِي كِتَابٍ مُبِينٍ Except that Allah has knowledge of it, it is written within a clear record. لَا إِلَهَا إِنَّ اللَّهِ We bring to your attention, dear brothers and sisters in Islam, the description of just one of Allah Almighty's creation. He is an angel, the chief of the angels, angel Jibra'il alayhi salatu wasalam, the messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam saw him in his true angelic form. Ahmed narrates in his Musnad that Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, the companion, he said, رَأَى رَسُولُ اللَّهِ sallallahu alayhi wasallam جِبْرِيلَ فِي صُورَتِهِ رَأَى رَسُولُ اللَّهِ sallallahu alayhi wasallam جِبْرِيلَ عَلَى صُورَتِهِ لَهُ سِتُّ مِئَةِ جَنَاحٍ كُلُّ جناح منها قد سد الأفق يسقط من جناحه من التهاويل والدر والياقوت ما الله به عليم He says the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم saw angel Jibreel in his true angelic form and he had no less than 600 wings and every one of those wings was huge enough to fill the horizon and cover the sky One wing spread out covers every cloud covers every star, covers the sun and the moon, covers every inch of that blue sky that we see, one wing. What then can you make of 600 wings? And if this is the majesty of just one of Allah Almighty's creation, what then can you make of the beauty and the majesty of the Creator Himself? La ilaha illallah. I bring to your attention, dear brothers and sisters, yet a second creation from Allah Almighty. This is the description of one of the angels who are carrying the throne of Allah. Abi Dawood narrates in his sunnah on the authority of Jabir that the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, أُذِنَ لِي أَنْ أُحَدِّثَ عَنْ مَلَكٍ مِنْ مَلَائِكَةِ اللَّهِ مِنْ حَمَلَةِ الْعَرْشِ مَا بَيْنَ شَحْمَةِ أُذُنِهِ وَعَاتِقِهِ مَسِيرَةُ سَبْعِمِئَةِ عَامِ He said alayhi salatu wa sallam, Allah has given me permission. to give you, O Muslims, a description of just one of the angels that are carrying the throne of Allah. He said the distance between his earlobe and his shoulder is the distance of 700 years worth of travel. If that is the distance between his ear and his shoulder, a hand span of a distance for us human beings, what then about the size of the rest of this angel? What then about the enormity of the rest of his body? If this is the size of one of the angels who are carrying the throne of Allah, what then about the enormity of the throne of Allah itself? And if this is the size of the throne of Allah, what then about the Lord, the Lord and the King of the throne? The name of sea! For I will 
we've forgotten. Today we've forgotten. Today you and I think what? That to see I need a pair of eyes. You're wrong. Because there are millions around the world that have eyes, but they can't see. It is Allah that allows you to see. Today you think to he, I need a pair of ears. You're wrong. Because there are millions around the world that have ears. They're stuck on their heads. But they can't hear my brother. It is Allah that allows you to hear. Today you think to walk, I need a pair of legs. You're wrong. There are millions around the world that have legs. But they can't walk. It is Allah and Allah alone that allows you to walk. Allah, not you. Allah. Not you. Allah doesn't need you, my brother. Allah doesn't need me. Allah doesn't need us. And we have to understand because this is aqeedah. You have to know this so that when you worship, you are always humble. When you worship Him, you never have pride. When you worship Him, you never have arrogance. Because you know, at any given point in time, I am where I am only through His mercy. Only through His Rahmah, I am where I am. Not because of your own actions. And to know with depth, with yaqeen, with certainty, that Allah the King of Kings doesn't need anyone. He doesn't need anyone, my brothers. Wallahi, everything you see around you, everything. Today, the Muslims have so much fear in their hearts. Fear. Fear of the kuffar. Fear of the West. Fear of laws. Fear of regulations. Fear of this and fear of that. But to know that Allah Azza wa Jal is not in need. Wallahi, my brothers, Wallahi, I take an oath by Allah. You have to come to terms. You have to come to believe with certainty that every single human being, whoever lived, whoever is living, and whoever is to come and live on this earth, Wallahi, Every single human being, every single jinn, every single animal that walks on this earth, every single bird that takes the flight in the sky, every single fish that swims in the oceans of Allah Azza wa Jal, Wallahi, every single land, every single country, Wallahi, with all their governments and all their military force and all their might and all their science and all their money, and all they know how, all with the exception of none, every country, every tree, every grain of sand, every mountain, every river, every ocean, every ocean, wallahi, every star, every sun, every moon, every single planet, every single angel, the billions and billions and billions of angels, all of them, with the exception of none, Mikael, Jibrail, Israfil, all the first heaven, the second heaven, the third heaven, the fourth heaven, the fifth heaven, the sixth heaven, the seventh heaven, the ocean above us, the eight that carry the flag of Allah, the hearts of Allah, all are dead, all are dead. Nothing moves, nothing stops, nothing makes, nothing breaks, nothing gives, Nothing takes, nothing rises, and nothing falls, nothing harms, and nothing benefits in Allah. MashaAllah, MashaAllah, MashaAllah. And until this, yaqeen and faith is in your heart. That nothing, that everything is dead, everything. Except Allah. Allah doesn't need anything, anyone. No prophet, no angels, no jinn, no ins. We need Him. He's Al Hayyul Qayyum. He's the ever living. So you might say, brother, I'm alive. What's so special about that? I'm living. Yeah, but your living is dependent on his existence. He's the first with no beginning. He's the last with no ending. He's Allah. He is Allah. Al Malik. He's the king. He's the 
king. He's the one who on the day of judgment, when everything will come to an end, when Allah Azza wa Jal will order the destruction of every living creature, when Allah Azza wa Jal will, Allah will order the destruction, the death of every human, of every animal, of every jinn, of every angel, until there comes a point where there is absolutely nothing in existence except Allah. And Allah will call out, Aina al Muluk? Aina Abna al Muluk? Where are those kings? Where are those kings who thought they were kings? Where are the sons of those kings? Allah will call out, Where are the tyrants? Where are the gangsters? Where are the boys that thought he was something? Where? Aina Abnaum. Where are their children? Allahu Akbar. Where are they? And then he will ask, Limanu Mulku Liyoum. To who is the kingdom today? Who? Allah Himself will answer. Today it's to Allah, the one and only. Allah asks, Alam tara anna Allah yasjudu lahu man fi samawati wa man fi al-ard. Don't you see, O people, that everything in the heavens and the earth prostrates to Allah? وَالشَّمْسُ وَالْقَمَرُ And so does the sun and so does the moon. وَالنُّجُومُ وَالْجِبَالُ And so do the stars and so do the mountains. وَالشَّجَرُ وَالدَّوَابُ And so do the trees and so do the moving creatures. وَكَثِيرٌ مِنَ النَّاسِ And so do many people. وَكَثِيرٌ حَقَّ عَلَيْهِ الْعَذَابُ And many people will be punished, Ya Allah. Isn't that amazing? From all of creation that's in existence, they are all in submission, all in sujood to Allah, whether we see it or realize it or not. And the only exception is a minority who happen to be from the weakest of all creation. He is man. He and the jinn they refuse. So guys, this was our reaction on who is Allah, the kingdom of Allah. And it was an awesome video. And uh, like no words yes. like the the way he said that uh the kingdom of allah mm. so the throne of allah the kursi of allah yes. right? so the angels are taking care of those things and those angels are so huge if one angel who is taking care of those uh, throne and uh, the kursi of allah and that angels the distance between shoulder and ear is 700 years. Like the person should take 700 years to travel from shoulder to ear. Yeah. So you can see like if the angels are so big, then Allah himself, the kingdom, uh, the Allah, the almighty God, you can think like nobody can, you know, imagine. Yeah. Nobody can imagine because angels one wing can cover each and everything of this planet. I mean, that's the size of one angel and one angel have 700 wings, 600. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't have, I don't know need, I don't know the count of the wings, but yeah. So Allah himself, you can Nobody can imagine yes. about Allah like no man. So these kind of videos are like you make you feel like goosebumps. You know? right. <laughs> these are that yes. that type of videos, and we should listen to these yes. videos so that everyone should know like what we are. We yes. are nothing. Yes. We are nothing. Yes. We are nothing. Yes. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like our video, please like, share and subscribe it. I hope you guys have 
took some information took some information and you will going to amal this in your life yes. and that is very important so yeah. guys thank you so much for watching this video if you like our video please like share and subscribe it to milte hain next baar khair bye bye take care see